Greetings and welcome back. In the previous video I was talking about how I started this project and what will I be using it for. Well, today's video I would like to continue with my project where I left off. As you have seen in the start of this video I was building a PSU cradle to house in my 3D PC server case. I printed it in a PTG white and it will house an SFX power supply. On Thingiverse I found a simple power supply model and for my use I had to remodel it. The cradle will be held up with a side support piece which it has room for one SSD and a place for some cable management. I made it so it can hold 5 cable ties to hold up any cables that will be in the way of an airflow from the fence. Hopefully next time I'll have more things to build but I'm still waiting for the same raspberry filament as this one here. I do have a white one but it's meant to hold any add-ons for the case. The side panel and the power supply holder will come together like so and together they will be positioned over the side. So, let me get things together and I'll start building this thing up piece by piece. Here it is. As you can see, let me get these washers out of the way. One second, please. bottom printed piece is at this moment finished. I see I didn't put the legs in right. Over here the upper printed pieces will have to be aligned so that the whole structure won't flex as much. Here I drilled some screw holes to fix the acrylic panel to the frame. And of course I need to find the right length screws so that it will fit here and won't get in the way of the motherboard. At this moment the motherboard has enough room to be safely moved around in or out so it won't get damaged. Here I hope I can get a graphics card that it's slim enough and that it will not be in the way of any airflow for the power supply and GPU. After I buy all the necessary components, I'll then see where I need to make some adjustments and fix the motherboard to its final position. For the right standoffs, I order some computer case screws on Amazon. The power supply I choose will have its fan oriented to inside and the cables I'll fix on the back side where I made holes for 5 cable ties. I'll use the red ones so I can see where all is. First one, second one. Third. Fourth. And 
the last one. Now, here we got the basic stance at the moment. But wait, I need to grab the rails for the Raspberry Pis. which I will place over here. Or, or on the top. Hmm, I'm still deciding on it. With the two case handles that I made, I'll have no trouble picking the case up and carrying it around if I need to. Each of the handles will be positioned on top of the case on its right place and screwed down for firm grip. I'm still planning and thinking how all of this is going to be sitting inside this case. That's it for today, leave me a comment below, like, subscribe, it will help me a lot, until next time, stay safe.